Okay, folks, pay attention to the time and the date. Okay, because I'm pretty damn sure the ones I just found today will be a different date and time. Okay, and we want to say hi to everybody on the RSV Aurora Australis, Australia to Antarctic. Okay, I think that's what it does, or it just basically stays down at the Antarctic and does the the shipping in of just about anything that the scientists and stuff. Uh, I don't know if it's a private one or if it's actually one of the scientific uh from the UK. Uh, I would think that it's probably, I don't know, look up what RSV. Anyway, babble, babble, and let's move on through the pictures that the idea, the nice scientifical. The objects, the witches of Eastwick, ladies and gentlemen, pretty much basically not. Basically space triangulations and objects in space because the last video I did today, before this one, you can go and see my videos and see, uh, I do believe, because I, I think the time has changed here. I clicked the photo. So you see this material, okay? This is the stuff that if it ends up in 2012 or anywhere between here, 2016, 2019, because this stuff's going to be around for a while. We're going to get uh, closer to the sun in the next few whatever, and then we'll probably start moving away from the sun in our deal, or who knows, with magnification. Uh, these objects, and I'll keep, I'm basically going to stick down to earth and showing a lot of objects, that I think, unless I pop into a, a shot that ends up being... And here you go. And what it goes is when you're watching the, uh, the RSV Aurora Australia's webcam action, you'll see these dark spices that come in around this hour. Okay? And then this cluster of, and it's not seagulls, folks. Okay? These are not birds. They're not seagulls. They're holograms from space. Okay? Uh, if you go to the other webcams at KC Station, if you look up KC Station webcams, you'll find all these other webcams okay and then you will end up finding and then if you watch outside of Casey station at the front door where the flags are at you will see some of these anomalies come up as white and it looks like that there's storm weather or but there's not I'm from winter weather area and the idea that even in the harshest areas in Antarctic and so far and here's triangulation again folks triangulation boom 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 and you can see the time and the date on the photos okay uh, basically, you'll see it on one of the upper Nehemiahs, and here's some more triangulation, 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 triangulation. This pretty much matches the video, uh, the objects or the triangular of the objects in the sky at the British station. This is Nehemiah, the German station here that we're showing you. I zoomed in these pictures, and I'm also going to uh, show you some other stuff that I zoomed in on today. But this is stuff during the holiday season that I was zooming in on of uh, triangulations down at Nehemiah. And as you see, the time, and more than likely, this is all the same date and the time in Nehemiah. Now, as what I was showing you here a little bit ago, now, don't worry about triangular. That is the station up there, okay, way far away. But this stuff is not human beings. It is like people come in and say it's... Now, the most amazing thing is I was watching my video, and I, I did finally catch what I was going wow about, okay? It goes in front of the sun, but it's in front of the sun, and you'll see it pop in front of the sun, and it's this object here, Okay? And I am not, I don't ever mess with photo, sh chop and shop. I don't even waste time knowing how to do that. I am not into making a photo to trick somebody out. I give you data and photos. You go to Nehemiah webcams today. You will see this object at, uh, I'm going to go and find the time and get it etched out of the video. And like I say, I don't waste time putting links on. Basically, my fans of my videos will put links on. If I see one, I do let, not let people put cuss words that much and stuff like that and so forth and so on. So if someone puts an honest link like this link here onto the comments box, I will post it. Okay? I don't have time to waste to do that stuff. Okay? This stuff is real. Nehemiah Station webcams, you can find it. Okay? I'm going to show you the object. And here it comes right here in the corner there. Okay? Keep my cursor down. And actually, I think I can blow this up. And I'm going to end up showing you the other object that I was just showing you that I snapped out of my photos recently. Okay? But here is what we've always been watching. And it, what's the big mass that's coming up in the uh, Antarctic, okay? And as you can see, you get that also there is large, tall objects on it, whatever that planet in it so forth is, or it's smoldering as you can see. It's not just the clumps of snow that does it. This could possibly be here, the clumps of snow doing that. But as you can see, there's some high points right there, folks. Right down there, there's a high point on that object that comes by, okay? Yes, folks, there's a high point on that object. You see what I'm saying? So that's why the BS that they tried to feed us a long time ago, it's a radar dome. Bullshit. And we've busted that shit. So I got my videos to, to show you that. So there our object goes by. And if you watch, this is humans here doing some stuff. But there is triangulation in the sky above that guy's head. Okay? 
and we've seen that in the past. Okay, and as you see, one of the one of the triangulations just left. If you watch this little pepper marks right there, let me zoom in on that. So that's zoomed in, folks, and you will see the triangulation right here. And I haven't been exact if this is part of the triangulation also right there, but I think it is, and because you can see the hologram action below it, and also the hologram action right here. So I really do believe that's part of the triangulation there, but we know for sure. So as I step back and forth, you'll see part of this triangulation right there that I just zoomed in on. You'll see that black object move, okay? And it's not somebody throwing something up in the air, folks. The guy's out there, but that object moves and it's gone. Now that's him gone, but the idea that you'll end up seeing, and then you see two more pieces of triangulation come up over there too, okay? Those aren't flags. As I go back, and you can watch the time, so the idea that those triangulations are moving around in space out there. So let me give you some more still photos that you'll realize these objects, and more than likely that's that black blotch right there that ends up staying up all the time down at the other webcams at the British webcam, okay? This is the German with a lot of other scientists I think that do visit, but see that's the dark object that I think at the British station that's always there. So, and we caught this at Nehemiah today at the middle camera action, so let's go to that now. So everybody watch my videos, remember if you share them, make sure you put my Beano Black on it. Do not take that off, I have creative comments, okay? Basically because all this is data and science finds, okay? So the idea, I want the word spread, but basically make sure you give me so that my charitable foundation will end up taking care and letting kids know the truth someday, okay? So make sure you keep the Beano Black on all my video action and stuff like that, and watch this last video. Now I'm going to get take you to the Nehemiah on Wait and Load. And yes, Nehemiah already loaded, but let me finish here with the pictures to show you that the idea we have the 27th now. And if you remember, I think it was the 22nd I started showing you earlier, okay? Here's our object, and we know that even that we're going to study and find that object in a minute ago that I basically just found from... Okay, I'm going to the Nehemiah, but here, let me give you some video shock. Watch. Object hits the sun. Whammo, okay? No playing with photo, folks. Watch the time in the lapse, and you go watch the video. You'll be able to find this on YouTube. Also, heal the viewer, okay? Whammo. Hits the sun, okay? No fake bake. Beano gives you all the scientific data, man. Whammo. Okay, this triangulation down there today, and the idea that I was showing you the shots from the 22nd earlier, okay? This here, ghostly stuff. So when this stuff happens in the other parts of the country, everybody around the world in the future, it's just light from outer space. It shouldn't freak anybody out. People will try to say God's coming and the devil's coming. Bullshit. It's a bunch of horse shit, okay? This stuff is just holograms from outer space, day, uh, black light that gets illuminated from objects in space, folks. So when they show you that video, I think somebody's got one. I can't detest because I don't know about the Arizona stuff that Itchy had on her site. But the idea, I think there's people freaked out in Arizona. So here's some more shots from recently. Of, of our object, okay, and then I'm going to be able to, I got enough time that we'll be able to go ahead and you can see the shape of it right there, okay, and I can even blow up on this a little bit, but see, I can't recenter my pictures in my deal, but I can blow up a little bit, and there you go on that, okay, that's why I need to go to the site and play the video so you can zoom in on that and be able to see that object. Now, it does fluctuate around, you see, and then also what's interesting, this is not a fishing line, folks, and this is not a fishing vessel, okay, so they didn't run into somebody's fishing line, okay? And basically what I'm saying is fishing nets, okay? I got blue eyes, I got Norwegian, and we're damn good fishermen, okay? So now this moves around, and what it is, it's a hologram from outer space, folks, like I've been telling you with other stuff, okay? And I don't get messed up looking at icebergs like I've just seen, but if you pay attention to this, if you really watch, you'll end up seeing these other holograms that are in the other parts of the shots, okay? That was weather there, but this is actual... This here is Aurora from our object, and if you see the PM time, it's getting towards when it comes up, okay? So I go back, and this is all hologram folks from space, making a line on the water, okay? And moving around, and yes, that object moves around. And that's our object, and you can see a little glimpse of it right up there in the corner. It's not the camera doing some kind of digitalization bullshit, okay? And we're gonna prove that by going and showing you that shot that I just pulled off Casey on this slide shot, okay? Of these video shots, okay? This thing moves around, and you can see the clock time will change up there, but you're going to have to get up there and watch everything full screen and really watch the clock, okay? Because I'm toggling back and forth through these recent shots. Okay, let me re and see if I can get some other stuff. Okay, here's Nehemiah, and we're going to basically put all this to rest about the blotch, okay? Because there you go. It's gone. Not there, right? Okay? 
and this moves the crop. And we're going backwards. You can watch the clock. I can't lie or screw anything with the clock. Matter of fact, let me pump this up. I'll put it to like 125 so we get a better view. Okay, because it still should be able to be able to come across, and you know we're at Nehemiah. Okay, so we got the the object that starts to come in. We've seen that. Okay, and as we see, we're going back through the clock backwards. Okay, so we're going to step ahead real fast. I'm going to keep clicking, and you're going to see it basically come up, and we're going to find that blotch, and we're going to watch it as it moves away from the sun here, and it's just a split second. Okay. So let me get it cued. Then there it is. It pops into the sky and it looks like a bird, folks, right? Well, it's not a flipping bird, ladies and gentlemen. Let me zoom in on it, okay? And this would make God believers believe real big because I'm telling you what, that's not a bird. Just watch as we zoom in. Watch. Boom. Okay, it looks like a bird, right? Boom. Okay. Now here we go again. Boom. It's not a bird, folks. As you see, we're getting bigger. And now we're going to start going in a lot real fast, and we're still on the same shot, folks. And it looks like a bird, right? Well, let's, let's check it out. Birds of paradise, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a bird, ladies and gentlemen, okay? It's a triangulation silhouette from outer space of a planet, okay? There's your time, so you know that we're in the shot, okay? So there it is, and we're going to hit play again on the player and get it zoomed in even more, okay? So this is what's been flopping up like a butterfly or a bird. But what it is, is it's Mother Nature of space, and that's what a lot of stuff in space on when you look at, there is a lot of screwball bullshit artists on Worldwide Telescope, but there are lots of stuff that we've seen with the uh, Hubble's telescope and other telescopes that are out in space that have no cloud cover that show you these actual stuff out in space that looks like germs, bugs, uh, animals, okay, so we're going to go hit the player, get down to 100% and hit the player. So we'll toggle back and forth in time, and basically it's just 10 minutes. Bam, and bam. So it goes across the sky real fast. And you've seen the shot that I had here. Matches the shot that I captured off my screen capture from watching my video, and I was like, wow, man, damn, it's there. And as you can see, the dangling legs in it at the smaller way shot. So that's why when you see it way far away in front of it, and remember, this is not the goddamn sun. Because the idea of the time, check that out up there. I should be able to zoom in and on here enough to be able to get the time. It's two, okay? So all this stuff comes up way early. AM UTC, okay? Antarctic East Standard Time, okay? But it's UTC time up there. That's Zulu time, okay? So we know for damn sure that that's what that. Is. So no matter what, watch Nehemiah Station, and IE watch the clock, and early AM. Not the, the 4.30 to 5 a.m. Now, some of it does last around till 4, but let's go and check the 27th date out on those other ship uh, holograms. So now you know that this basically is always, it's pretty much a bird hologram cloud, basically, but it comes in from outer space, black light, ladies and gentlemen. That's that object there, okay? Basically in front of Rigelkan Terrace B or Proximia, Proximia Centauri B, I mean, Proximia Centauri Rico Kinteris A, and as I can zoom in on this here, you'll see the dangling legs on it. It ends up popping up in front of it all the time, okay? So it's a shadow that gets fixated off of that shot, okay? And then you get that line that came across the water, and I should be able to get you the Witches of East Hook here on the, 20, the 26th or the 27th, or maybe even possibly the 25th. So it'll be in these shots here. Then I was showing you the 22nd earlier. That's why I stayed with you, and there you go. But basically, I guess I was pulling it off the 22nd and was pulling those shots. Okay? So, and I think, um, let me study and see my photos and see if I've got it from an earlier date than the 22nd. I first started looking at these spots back around when I took, pulled the video of the 21st down, folks. You can see the black spotches. And here we go through these photos from the 21st that I've splotched off. I mean, that I just, you know, snapshot. No advertising, folks. Just basically, there's screen saving mechanisms out there, okay? Get whatever one you want. So, we zoom in on this object, and it really looks like ice on top of a meteor or whatever on this one triangulation. So, I think that there's basically a burnt out comet triangulation. You can see a triangulation because there's another part of it up there to the right. So, watch all my videos and spread the word, folks. And this was the planet we caught up on the, se on the 17th, also off the footage. As you see, I zoomed in on it. There it is. There it is. Zoomed in. 
out there in the sky, Antarctica, folks. Get everybody to watch my video, spread the word.